House is a unit that appears way late into Season 3, which I'm sure the majority of you know nothing about. Therefore, I can probably say anything I want. That is, I would if I knew anything about her either. House's Trustmaster reward is a robe with a decent amount of magic. More appealing is the double killer against insects and birds that's tacked onto it. Unfortunately, two double killers can be a big deal, so to set this back as this is a Trustmaster reward, they lowered the boost to an annoying 40%. Her Super Trustmaster reward is a materia that boosts your unit's equipment magic by a whopping 200% if they're holding a single weapon. You know how I say Remake Cloud's Super Trustmaster reward is the best thing about him? Well, this is the same for Pouse. I don't know why it took them so long to release something like this though. On to her active abilities. No such thing as a fixed future is kind of a long name for her ability, but it doesn't make it any less important as it gives Pouse a quadruple cast and a damage modifier boost for her magical attacks. Lucidus Blade inflicts a 120% light imperil, and then deals light magic damage that chains a floating shrike. Liquidus Blade is the same thing, but with water. If we look at her magic spells, we see Water Gut and Ultima, which has recently been buffed. You can also awaken both spells further. Passives. But for Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, House gets a 50% boost to her limit burst damage and resistance to stop. She deals increased damage to birds and insects, birds more so than insects, and has a strong boost to her limit burst damage and a small regen to boot. She greatly prefers to carry a single weapon, and in doing so she meets half the boosted chain limit cap. Her normal attack has been changed to deal light damage that chains of Bouting Shrike and inflict a 100% light imperil. At EX plus 2, she gets an instant limit burst. At EX plus 3, she gets 500 literal magic. Let's look at her limit burst. It inflicts a 120% light imperil, raises her limit burst damage by 100%, and then deals light magic damage. Time for her super limit burst. As one of the first magic super limit burst users, House has an automatic buff in magic shift instead of attack shift. It essentially works the same way though, giving her unit a 250% magic buff, a 200% limit burst damage buff, and completely fills the limit burst gauge. It inflicts a 125% light imperil, boosts her light damage by 35%, grants her a strong magic killer against birds and insects, and then deals tremendous light damage. Let's rank brave abilities. Though in this case, Lucidus Blade and Liquidus Blade are essentially the same, as raising them just raises their damage, not their imperils, so there's nothing too noteworthy to speak of. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn 1, cast no such thing as a fixed future and double cast Lucidus Blade. On turns 2 to 4, quadruple cast Lucidus Blade. If, during any of these turns, her Lemma Burst is ready, prioritize that instead. On turn 5, her Super Lemma Burst activates, so go ahead and pop that. So, EX2. As a Super Lemma Burst user, House automatically benefits from additional EX Awakenings. It's pretty drastic too, as it is for any damage dealer, which kind of lessens its impact, unfortunately. At EX plus 2, she gets an instant Lemma Burst. It's nice, considering it provides more damage, but if you didn't get it for any previous Super Lemma Burst user, you likely won't get it for her. At EX plus 3, she unlocks 500 magic. It's definitely helpful, but not really worth the heavy cost of EX plus 3, though I sincerely doubt any of you are willing to go that far in the first place. So how good is Pouse? She's a strong magic damage dealer, and that's literally it. She doesn't break any records, but she's no comparative slouch by any means, especially when the Clash of Woes units are forced onto an even playing field. She's very strong, but that also doesn't mean much if you don't really care for her unit. It doesn't help that she's a super limit burster, which has an innate disadvantage when forced into dangerous fights without the variety of equipment that's available to units with two forms. Furthermore, damage dealers face the stiffest competition, and it's kind of a lost cause to chase after every new unit that comes your way. But if you happen to get her off banner, then she's certainly not the worst. After all, just look at that super trustmaster reward. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you got Pouse. I don't think any of you will though. Deliberately, that is. If anything, you're probably here because you love me or you got her by accident.